hello everyone in this video i am going to show you how to create store then how to create gateway then how to integrate with store fund store to uh, netscaler gateway so already i am having one store now i am going to create two more store for uh, apac citrix gsr.com gateway and the us citrix gsr.com gateway so why we need to create multiple store and multiple gateway suppose in your infrastructure if end user is facing any slowness or else a latency issue because if you have more uh, user they are trying to connect the same gateway url they might face slowness or else latency issue in this case in larger infrastructure what they used to do they will create multiple store and multiple gateway based on the region recently in our infrastructure also we had faced a similar kind of issue so we decided to go with multiple store and multiple gateway based on the region already we have one store this is applicable for all the users now we are going to create two more store and two more gateway for region specific so first we need to create the store store name apac then controller address next so right now we don't have gateway so i am not going to enable right now so once we create the gateway in the netscaler then i will enable this remote access because we are not going to use this access gateway which is already enabled for the first store gateway so we are not going to use because we are going to create additionally two more gateway so click next store has successfully created click finish so we need to create one more store us add controller address you can mention us second store also we have created successfully click finish <coughs> now go to netscaler create new gateway so first we need to create gateway for apac apac 91 let me check the ip address click continue so certificate we need to install So Apex certificate key file so store front URL. Retrieve store. So here you can see three store. We are going to integrate the Apac store to Apac gateway. Then STA that is our delivery controller. Click continue. So we can use existing LDAP if you don't have existing LDAP so you can add it here click done. 
so we need to create one more gateway for us region create new gate us dot citrix one ninety two dot one sixty eight hundred dot ninety two so install certificate so us so key file If you don't know how to create this key and a CSR record, you can check my previous video. I have uploaded some videos related to how to create key file and a CSR record in a Netscaler. to store so this gateway we are going to use for us store click continue <coughs> so again we are going to use existing ldap so click continue now we have created two gateway in the Netscaler. Now we need to integrate this gateway into the Citrix storefront store. Just go to storefront. So select first store, Apex store. Configure remote access, enable, add. Apex Gateway. So Apex Gateway address HTTPS Apex dot Citrix GSR dot com. Click Next. Controller address. Click Next. Now go to US store. Also check the authentication method whether it's added to Netscale or not. Yes. Next go to US. Configure remote setting, enable remote access. This is existing gateway, but we are not going to use existing gateway. We are going to add new gateway that is created for US region. Just refresh this console. Now you can see for all the store, the access, internal access, and the external access. You can see for all the store. So now go to browser and try to access. So first gateway access.citrixgsr.com. Then second gateway attack.citrixgsr.com. Then third gateway. HTTPS US
so we can able to access additionally create a two gateway just try to log in so by using apac url we can able to log in then third gateway us So by using APAC Gateway, we can able to access the Citrix application. By using Access Gateway also, we can able to access the Citrix application. The third, EOS Gateway also working fine. If you want to know something, you can uh, do command. So when I have time, I will check and I will answer your question. Thank you.